I'm doing uh, that thing. You've got to take a picture before you eat it. We've been bigging it up Ooh. all morning and it's finally arrived. Yes. Uh, Rochelle has got some three cheese fondue in front of her. Uh, Nico is in the kitchen. How, We're ready to rock and roll. It's all right, doesn't it? it a little looks... champagne beside it, a glass of bubbly. Gorgeous. Got everything you've ever needed. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, this yeah. is perfect, Nick, if you're doing some, you know, a Christmas Day. Christmas Day, turkey and ham is already done. You've got it resting. This only takes about half an hour to get done. Bit of bread, throw it in the oven. Oh, also, when you're hollowing out the bread, you can use that for your stuffing as well, you know? Yes. Exactly. Well, you don't want to waste any part of it. This is quite a good Boxing Day alternative. Mm. You know, some people... Or New Year's. Do, you do people coming over, yeah. little glass of champagne, Pinot yeah. Grigio, everybody's getting ready. Cheers. I've, I've, I've just realised And I'm, I've only managed to get a tiny bit of melted cheese on me this morning, so <laughs> we're, we're, going, we're doing great so far. So the first little part of this is just hollowing out the bread. Simple enough. And I like to use the, um, like the little stale parts of the bread, like they toast up quite nicely for your, your stuffing and everything else. This is just all quite simple. Now, I've gone with three different types of cheeses. You're going to taste a bit of Gruyere, you're going to taste a bit of Gouda and some goat. Tilkin, okay, come, come on. So how should we be in the... Oh, oh wow. Oh. oh. Whoa. It's all melty. Are we just dipping anything in it? Yeah, go for it. How's oh that? Gosh. And you now, went before me. You what went what before I've done with the onions good? here is a perfect little base. Sometimes you can do a bit of sweetness, maybe throw a bit of... Mm. Remember the, the hedgehog pineapples? Remember those? Mm. We got the parties. Yeah. Like, like the sweet and cheese goes quite well together. So I have a little, bit of, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of cinnamon, and what I like to do is put in a bit of uh, lemon zest as well. Just adds that extra little kick of Nico, flavor. Nico, the three you know? cheeses that you're about to uh, stick in there, yeah. are they of a certain strength? Because obviously some cheeses are stronger than others, but I've, just, I've, just, I've tried some, and mm. I know this sounds daft, but it doesn't taste... Over cheesy. Over cheesy. So the thing with uh, the fondue is you're looking for cheeses that are quite young so they melt easier. Like mm. think Parmesan or it's, it's, it might, take, might, might take a year so that's quite hard. Right. You're looking for the, like the Gouda, they're usually for like six to nine months so they're just a bit softer. Goat's, goat's cheese is always quite young. And uh, yeah, that's the best way to do it. So what, now, so what have you gone for? I've gone for some Gruyere, I've gone for some Gouda and I've got some goat. Right. Now the technique, there's very few techniques to this, but what you need to do when you're mixing your cheeses, is there's only one little technique that you need to do is, is get some acid in there. And now I'm using Ooh. some white wine. And the, chemi the chemistry part of this is that the, uh, the, the acid is going to help the proteins so they don't clump together. So you get that kind of, right, you know, that, right. yes, that yes, cheese yes. little pull. And a bit of lemon juice as well. And we add a bit of, uh, of our cornstarch. So it all kind of... So the together, acid you know? prevents it from being stringy cheese? No, the acid is what it, it makes it stringy. It makes it stringy. It, 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 make it, but uh, you don't want it too clumpy. You don't want it all clumpy. Right, okay. Clumpy, you know, nothing worse than clumpy cheese. Yeah, I apologise, I missed that because <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic, <laughs> and I was in another world. <laughs> yeah, I'm and with so, you. Like, I'm in that world with and you. That, and that, that's all you kind of need to know. Like, I mean, if you've got some chutney lying around, you could throw that in there as well. It's just something to you know, boost up the flavour. Oh yeah, nice. Your leftover, your leftover Christmas dinner, a bit of ham, a bit of turkey, a bit of chicken. This is why I think it's really nice for Boxing Day because. You know, you have so many different things left over and you've done the big meal, haven't you, on Christmas Day? And at the beginning of the week, we had John's And it's always time for cheese. Also, some cheesy jokes pump. there you had Hi. earlier as well. Hey, they were good then. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a grey area, but it's uh, in between a cheese and a plum. Oh, there What's he that? is! What's that? There <laughs> he is! What's that? I missed oh. it. He said it's a grey area. Oh. It's a grey area. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh. Okay. Now nah, the jokes get the jokes get fed up. Basically, on Boxing Day, we need Nico, we need John Tarot, we need Exactly. We need well, it's all about recycling Donald, our food. This is it. And, and I mean not wasting, not wasting anything. And I mean then you can eat the bowl as well, less clean up. Mm. Yeah, good idea. We're just we're just recycling cracker gags, that's all it is, Nico. <laughs> we're getting in a festive mood. <laughs> there yeah. are fetter jokes anyway. What, what type of bread is that? That's just uh, like so you're you're gonna want something like a sourdough or something that's like hearty, you know, it's got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that? That nice big crust underneath. And I've got one over here, bubbling away. <clears throat> Look at that jiggly. <laughs> so, so, so how long have we put that in for? Then, so that, okay. that's been in there for about 25, 30 minutes. When and what, it's just and all, how hot? What's look. the temperature? Wow, look at that. <gasps> so that is about 180. 180. So, you, just don't want, you just don't want to burn it. You don't want to... You don't want to burn it too much. You don't then, have to put any oil or anything on the bread, just as is? No, as is. And I like walnuts go nice with it, a little bit of chive to make it all pretty. So what have we got? Cranberry and... Are there, are, and is it... into your champagne, yeah. Is it... Yeah, cool, come on. Come on, Nico, do you know me? Of course I have. 
What, we've got champion. walnuts, walnuts on top. Well, so what? So why you've chosen these as well? Do you know that uh, the charcuterie board, you might have a little bit of grape, you might have a little bit of mm. cranberry. It's, just, it's all the same stuff. It's just kind of in a different accent, you know? So we've got our cranberry here, which is gonna, like the grape, it's just a kind of a version of a dried grape. And the walnut goes well, especially with the gouda for that like rich and yeah. kind of texture, oh, it, you know? it's delicious. It's absolutely beautiful. And here it kind of always, almost represents the, uh, the like the leftover. It really does. It's like, yeah. that's, that, that's your leftover, your leftover over roasties, roast potatoes and a bit of melted Ooh, cheese. Ooh, a roasty in Talk here. Talk to me. Talk to me. Come on. Yeah, that's 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 it'd a win. Be, uh, and I've got some pork and fennel sausage here as well, for just for that. It'd be a extra. damn crazy. If you and good like. wines that go with this. I mean, we're going to have plenty of wines in the houses for the next. Champagne grows great with this. A nice Riesling. I mean, that's the wine food that goes with everything else. I just think there's nothing in the world that wouldn't go with this, to be mm. honest with you. I mean, if you, unless you're like, you know, my husband does not like cheese. Really? So and it really you, upsets then. me. He doesn't like cheese, he doesn't like mushrooms. I love cheesy mushrooms. This it's is perfect to sit down in front of the telly mm. with a Christmas movie. Oh, yes. You know, Stick the eating yeah. on, get it nice and warm and cosy. Yeah. No, it's perfect for any occasion, not just Christmas. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, I could eat that on the beach if I needed to. <laughs> 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 and oh I've just realised that this is real champagne, so... I've just everyone. actually realised... It's just gone noon, so I've we're... I've realised no, no, we're live no on one... the telly. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what's just happened to me. I just adorned, I just heard a timing in my ear and I was like, oh, we're actually live here mm. doing Well, Merry this Christmas to that, telly. anyway. Nico, absolutely awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. What are your Christmas plans, by the way, buddy? I'm going back to Dublin tomorrow for uh, Visit the Fam. Nice. Lovely. See in, yeah. Nice. Well, enjoy it. And, and do you thank know you what's so going to happen now? Now you've done this on the telly, you're going to have to make this for the fam. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not, no. You didn't think this through very well. I, I, usually, I usually weasel out of Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to happen for you now, Nick. Okay, well, have a, lovely, thank have you very a much. lovely, lovely Christmas. And thank, thank you, guys. because you've absolutely made mine with this, so thank you. Mm. <laughs> you would not, please, sorry. Oh, do you? Yeah, you did it for me yesterday. Right, for all the recipe details, take a look at our This Morning app.